Eric Braverman's The Greatest Music Ever Created and How It Ruined Our Lives. With our straight out of the wilderness guests, Mr. and Mrs. Ted Nugent. And be sure to watch as EV disturbs the biggest alligator in the world at over 13 feet. What can be more metal than that? And look, we got ourselves a new male. <laughs> like this. Therapeutic. Therapeutic. <laughs> Weapon. I did last time, didn't I? Do you have something? Well, last time always have something. Last time it was. Went to shoot the fly. Last time it was a camera. Oh, now it's a Glock. Oh, it's a regular Glock. But it still got that wonderful. Well, maybe it doesn't. Remember last time you had the laser sight. Well, I got an email from your people. You need to mind the time because you and Ted either together or separately run long. Because I run long. Because I love this stuff. You're asking me about my life. I. Love my life. If, How can I not expound and get excited about the things well, that I cherish and that I crave? Every well, day? I think people book you on things like Fox News or news shows, not even necessarily for the opinions they're going to get because they know you're going to talk. And if someone switches and the energy, your dial, well, the, the energy, energy and all and that. I, but all the interviews are going to ask me questions about the things that I love or I'm concerned about. Plus, I don't think you're a pretty bright guy. Did you go to college? I did go to college. See, I did not go to college. I was too busy learning shit. And so what I've learned, yes. and, and it's so succinct, this is why my books make the New York Times bestseller list, that's why I'm doing killer business 50 years later. You're born at point A, you're gonna die at point B. Kickbacks. What are you ass. doing with that time? Mm -hmm. That's a sacred gift. Every minute between point A and point B is a sacred gift. Use it wisely. No poisons, no wasted time. Fight bad and ugly. Crush as much bad and ugly as you possibly can because by crushing bad and ugly, you make room for more good. Good is the goal between point A and point B. And if you dismiss or partake in the bad and the ugly, you're diminishing the good. Not only that you yourself have, but so that you're, you being an asset can be an asset to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your band, your crew, is, interviewers. It's so simple. It's so simple. that's your religion. That's a religion. Well, my religion that's is... Awesome. Um, I, I hate to even use the word religion because religion has been so fucked up. But it's <laughs> my, it's my, it's my um, American dream. The greatest music ever created, and how it ruined our lives. Very cool. That was my trace. I wore uh, Army version Air Jordans for you today. Very handsome. Oh, nice. If you need a All my gay friends wear those. Nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna, maybe I can get a date. <laughs> <laughs> call them for me. I can't imagine. I'm going to call my gay friends. Ted Nugent's call them. Oh, they're on speed now. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a book for that. Well, Scott Ian, one last thing about Scott Ian. Scott's a great man. No, no, I know. I've known him a long time. I think I'm gonna, next time I come to this place, he's going to be here with Pearl. Do you guys still know him? Right? And again, about the metal thing. When you did the super group with Scott, it's Scott, it's Biohazard, it's awesome. Skid Row, it's the inventor of heavy metal, John Bonham's son, uh, and then you. And again, no, no, I, I don't agree. They, with the metal. John Bonham was not heavy metal. Well, John I mean, his Bonham, dad invented The whole Led Zeppelin thing was a overtly rhythm and But they still started that. And and that's a and spurring it of the it. pound factor. And, and John Bonham definitely delivered the pounding factor. And Jason keeps that incredible integrity alive. But that experience um, was another one of these adventures I'm talking about. Yeah. It was out of my paradigm, and I like that because I respected all the guys in various ways and various degrees, and it was a win, 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 win. I loved every minute of it. All right, cool. We'll go to work. Quick move from around here. Thank you, Mrs. Nugent, You're very much. Welcome. You're a beautiful woman. Thank wow. You notice that? I don't fuck around. Well, I can see that stopped the addiction. The she has a, you had. By the way, the, the, here's the trick right here. 
You see how beautiful she is? I mean, it's just so natural. I deserve her, but the trick is that right now during this entire interview, you know those electronic training collars they put on dogs to break them of bad habits? I have two of them on my scrotum right now. Yeah. She should. If, yeah. I, if she saw that documentary I saw when I was married to you, I'd do that too. Which documentary is that? It was like behind the music or something, and you're like... Talking about girls? Yeah, it was I like that was your addiction. Like you were almost out of control. It might have even ruined some it relationship. It was perfectly in control. I have girlfriends. I'm a man. And the fault would be... 2,000? 2,000 girlfriends? I think some of these girls were hurt emotionally when you left town. I don't town. think so at all. I think when I, I married Shemaine, they were. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. But I don't shoot the first deer that walks by, you know. No, 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 no. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, Nicely guy. done, guys. Helps a little bit. The greatest music ever created and how it ruined our lives. <laughs> I just love that mount. I love that mount. This has been another Metal Hammer presentation of the greatest music ever created and how it ruined our lives. Brought to you by Smokey Amps with your host, Eric Braverman, our heavily armed guests, Mr. and Mrs. Ted Nugent, and that 13-foot reptile that could have and should have eaten Mr. Braverman. This is your announcer, Russ Walton of JackofAllPipes.com. Now, go clean the blood and guts off yourselves with an antiseptic, but oh so delicious Canadian club. <laughs>